What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through the super cool effect that I saw over on Instagram. So for this effect, you need to shoot in different locations and have your subject walking from one side of the frame to the other. And for this to work, you need a still video clip. I actually shot this handheld, but then used the tripod mode stabilization effect in Final Cut Pro, which did a really good job of keeping the video completely still. So here are my raw video clips. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a marker on each video clip where I want the different locations to cross over. So to add a marker on the video clip, what I'm going to do is select the video clip, move the timeline pin where you want it, and then press M on the keyboard. And that will add this little blue marker. And then I'm going to add one where I want the video to cross over to the next one. And then I'm gonna to go to the next video clip, add a marker there and one there. So next step, I'm going to select all of my video clips and go up to the transform and go to scale and just put the scale down to 50. And then on the first video clip, I'm going to move it over to the right hand side because the subject is walking from right to left. The first video clip is going to go on the right of the project. But if you did it the other way around, then you'd want to start on the other side. Okay, so next step, I'm going to bring my second video clip over the first one and line up the first marker with the second marker. And then I'm going to select this video clip, go over to the crop section over here, and then just crop it until half of the subject is visible. And then I'm going to use the transform tool and drag it over my first video clip and line the subject up, also changing the scale as well so that it lines up with the first shot. And then you should get this effect where the subject walks from one side of the frame into the, into the new frame. Okay, so now that one's done, I'm going to bring my next video clip up and line up the first marker with the second marker and then go over to the crop section and crop this so that half the subject is visible and then line it up with the frame before and also change the scale. And then finally, I'm going to bring on my last video clip and just do the same thing. Line up the markers, crop it, and then move it into place. So now we need to extend all of the video clips so that all of them start from here and end on the last video clip so that they don't pop onto the screen. So to do that, what I'm going to do is and just hold down shift and press H to create this freeze frame and then just line up the markers again. Also going to freeze frame this last video clip. So now that we have all of the video clips lined up, you should be left with something that looks like this. And then the next step is to select all of the video clips and go right click new compound clip. And then using the compound clip, I'm going to go up to the transform parameters. And I'm going to scale this compound clip up so that it fills the whole frame so that the subject is in place. And then I'm going to add a keyframe here and go to the end and just slide the video across so that the subject stays in the middle. And you may need to adjust the scale to fill the frame depending on the size of your video clips. So now if I go back and play this back, all of the locations are stitched together and it makes it look as though they're all moving as one. And then if your videos disappear at the end, all you need to do is go back into the compound clip and just add a freeze frame at the end of the video clips and make sure that they all finish at the same place. So now the video clips stay there throughout the effect. And yeah, that's pretty much the effect, a super cool and creative way to show different locations of where you are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.